Hi everyone, welcome to Binding of Isaac number 21 for the 2013 series. So, we did a bit better last time by playing Maggie, we got another complete, so maybe I will just continue with that tactic for now, as I know I made a lot of progress during that last, like, last series, so... Um, just use Maggie to get lots of completes because it's kind of the because it's the easiest option It feels a little bit like cheating, but I guess Finding the easiest way of doing something isn't really cheating if the game lets you do it I think I just need to adjust my volume a fraction. Okay, there we go um, So here's the treasure room so get rid of this bit of spawner. Thank you very much. I didn't want any of that It's very annoying indeed uh, Get out of here, right? And so, so I want my little spider. Come over here, right? Okay, excellent. So, um, yeah, not the best item really. I'm going to leave that there. Um, we don't really want to be using that. Might be useful if there's something we need to blow up and we don't have any bombs. I'll go and grab that one second before leaving this stage. But I think we want to keep the yum heart on us for now. Maybe I can guess the secret room with it, especially once the yum heart's charged, because I can heal myself up afterwards as well. Because Thing with the kamikaze bomb is it kind of hurts you not as much as it would in real life but um it takes one heart away so it's not ideal so angry babies a special angry baby super angry baby oh, here's a bomb so uh there's a key as well yeah, maybe I'll use that item to save the bomb. Um, and my young heart's almost charged. Um, this machine. I'm going to blow it up then with the bomb I do have. We've got a key, an extra key. Okay, so that's something. So we'll take our young heart and we'll carry on. There's no point going into the um, shop with only zero coins. All of zero coins. So we'll see what boss we've got instead. So, pin. Maggie's still a bit slow, so we haven't got any speed up yet. So bear that in mind. Okay. About halfway. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Here we go. Almost done. Yay. Right, let's grab a heart. Uh, use our yum heart as well. And tears up. So, let's see if our tears are noticeably better. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, let's get rid of these flies. Another key, very nice. Ah, books. Um, are they actually useful? This one's damage up. I don't know if we really want to take it straight away. The other one's an anarchist cookbook, so that would be good if we've got some stuff we want to blow up. Ah, this is a special arena, so we've got too much health to get in there at the moment. If we get low on health, we'll bear that in mind. Let's see what's over this way. Was there a bomb available in there? Was it behind some rocks? That one of them just seemed to jump up and he didn't seem to come down again. Did it really jump away from me instead of towards me? Or did I that's very strange. Anyway, it's an extra key and a treasure room. Brilliant. Sister Maggie. Here to help us out. Very nice. Um Go and double check that bomb. It's confused me now. Um, oh no, it's because a troll bomb landed and I walked out before it went off. Okay. So, over this way. The other thing, if we have the yum heart charged up, that would allow us to walk into the arena and then get two full hearts to fight with. And it's the beginning of the game, so it's maybe worth taking the risk because we've only we're only a couple of minutes in. It's not like we're losing a lot. And there's another heart that we can use to 
to heal up before continuing to the boss afterwards. Afterwards? Afterwards. So there's nothing we can actually buy in here. But oh, if we could buy that blue heart, that'd be cool. Um, see, it's tempting we could go and... There's no way of hurting ourselves is, is one thing, though. Um, we need to hurt ourselves three times in order to get in there. Um, so if we grab this anarchist cookbook and set it off somewhere and see if we can find a secret room. So, it's more likely to be here or the next one, but if I set it off here, then there's two walls that it might be. And plus there's a load of rocks as well. It's, it's well known. Oh, yep, yeah, no, there we go. My evil plan worked. Excellent. So we could actually buy the blue heart, but um, there's no way to hurt ourselves. So uh, I'm close to 15, but I don't really want to save just for just for that. So we'll get a key and we'll get the pill. Might be interesting. Bad gas. Okay. Um, and then I guess we're just going to have to go to the boss and go and get my yum heart back. Except maybe, um, maybe I could just pretend it's a normal game and take the book for extra damage instead of the yum heart. Let's try that. I completed the game last time. It's a it's, might, it's a bit of a risky decision, but I mean, the problem with Maggie is that it's very hard to get the extra damage, so um, I'll just, yeah, I'll do that. See how we do as an experiment. So we've got lots of shots as well. Don't know if the Book of Belial uh, increases your firing rate as well. See, Dev. Devil deal. I don't think we got any devil deals last time. Maybe, but yeah, devil deals are especially good, I think, with Maggie because we collect the extra hearts. So I don't think I'll take the cat's paw, but we can. Taking this might be a lot of fun. Mind you, we have to give up the Book of Belial. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm. I think I'm okay with that. Right. Oh, we could have used the cat's and got loads of hearts and gone into the arena we would be only blue hearts left there and in the long run that's bad news oh yes and I went and looked up what mum's pearl does and what mum's pearl does is it increases the chance of red hearts that drop um, are, more, are more likely to turn into blue, uh, blah, are more likely to be blue hearts so that's really good um, in those blue heart situations so hopefully I'll remember that now so I know it's been a long time I've kept on saying it wrong for you guys it will have been days and days but I record a lot of these episodes on the same day so for me it's not like it's like the same day I didn't know like three times in a row but for you guys unfortunately it's like three episodes in a row, I didn't know, but um, I know now, so it's all good. Um, so, there's these guys running around being angry. Sort them out. Splat, splat, splat. Uh, sort these guys out. There we go. Very good. And this is shot. We've got quite a few coins, so I'm just gonna go in here. Um so that's a blue heart from the books of Rev Book of Revelation gives us blue hearts, so it'd be quite good if we can find the money for it. Um there's apparently a heart left up in here. Um, gluttony and his belly laser. I didn't sing his little tune. Sorry about that. If you missed that, um, doesn't feel right to sing it when he's not there now. Um, I 
I'll make sure to fan first on belly lasers later on. Right. Sort these guys out. These little derpy heads. Uh, okay, so we've got a treasure room. Chance of poison shots with pinky eye. Three dollar bill, yo. Random tears. Oh, not necessarily the greatest thing in the world, but um, better than default, I guess. Just got to keep an eye on what is actually giving us. Um, that face is pretty cool, though, isn't it? Um, so, I guess it's just downwards now, then. We don't have any bombs to check for secret rooms. Oh, get the flies out to help me out here. Fly in there and flies fly in and get them. Oh, there's some bombs there, but we need some. We need a bomb to get them. Oh, the irony. Um, and okay, and there's a heart. Are we dragging? Did we drag that heart towards us? <laughs> Is that a random effect from? The random tears. I don't know what else would drag the heart towards us. It must have been a random effect from random tears. Um, if only we could get that with in the room with the bombs. Oh, see, that's annoying. Getting the number one, it has really bad range. At least if we get it here, we're less likely to get it in the boss room. Um, was there anything worth buying in the shop for three coins? I don't think so. I don't think we can get a bomb for three coins, can we? I just have to double check so I really can't remember. And we really could do with a bomb, we can get those two bombs, which will then allow us to get whatever whatever's in that chest. No, we need five. Of course we need five. Hmm. And we could also maybe look for a secret room as well. So there's two possibilities that I can see that I think are strong possibilities. But yeah. I'll just carry on to the boss, get some flies ready. Here we got this guy. Something over him, isn't it? Like, oh, Maggie's a bit slow, so he catches up with us. Grab that heart. Extra heart container, very nice. So there's nothing really else we can do here, so we'll just have to move on. So treasure room up here. Get the flies out, speed it up a bit. Poison shots are nice. But if you've got a fast fire rate, then it's you know it's a chance per shot. But if you're like shooting lots and lots and lots, then um, you've got a higher chance. Now the fork is quite good. The fork gives us a heart um, when we kill, is it? Like, yeah, it's like the vampire kills thing. Except why is it not as good? I guess just because it's a trinket, so you can only have one trinket at a time. PhD, nice. Very useful. So we can trust all the pills now. Is there always going to be something good? Um, <laughs> I think I want to take the pinky eye, because the forks like helps our health. And we don't really need help with health when we're Maggie. We want as much damage as possible. And so the po the random poison helps us with the damage problem that Maggie has. And we can just trust that we're gonna get lot you know, we can we're gonna get lots of hearts and stuff as long as we're careful. Um Ow. He says getting hurt. Okay, there's a coin, some books down in that room there. I think we want to keep our flies, so there's not many books that are better than the flies. The boss is definitely over in that direction. I'm just going to run back and get the heart, though, that I left behind. We'll swap back in a second as I pass again. Okay. Yeah, it seems to drag hearts towards me when I need them. So always, I may, maybe... A weird feeling that always happens with hearts. It doesn't though, does it? No. Um it, is it something to do with Maggie? 
Or is that just something I've never... Do hearts always drag towards you? Is it just something I've never noticed? Just slip my mind. Anyway, I'll just carry on. I'm really musing on that now. I'm like, is that normal or is it not? So it's not dragging towards me there. I think it's a random effect from $3 bill that certain power-ups must drag items towards you. So I'm randomly getting it occasionally. It's not happening every time, so I, I'm not going crazy. It isn't normal. Okay, so um, looks like I've got some kind of slow random effect, which is nice. Very, very, very good indeed. Uh, we'll just make Gerdy even easier than she is already. Okay. Um, there we go. Oh. Brilliant. And coin purse. So we got friends till the end. Bad gas. What's this one do? Range up. So we'll take both of those. And bad gas. So we got eight coins. I don't think it's really worth going in the shop. I have to go all the way across there to get there as well. So I'm just going to leave it for this stage. Uh, and this stage has an arena. I'm actually going to go for the arena, I think. First, before I just squeeze past here. Um, I could bag gas them as well. But no need. Okay. Um, we can't get to that without a bomb or a ladder or flight or something. Um, sort out these turret things. And kill that at a distance so it doesn't blow us up. Uh, sort these guys out. Okay, excellent. It's dragging the coin towards me, so some random magnet effect. There should be random shots, but I don't magnet really counts as random shots. Um, and the shots I'm firing when that happens don't seem to be anything particularly special, so... What the... The heck? What is going on? Okay. There's like a, I don't know what was going on there. That's very strange. Of course, I don't have full health now, so I can't go in that arena. That was really weird. Don't know what was going on there. Um, oh, I got hit again. Damn it! Right. So I could use this key to get that heart. Why is there a chest in here? Was it behind? Oh, it was. I, but I have, I have a bomb now, so I think it's worth using. Gets us out of this predicament, hopefully. So that's another half heart, so that's good. And what's down? Where's a half heart here? I need to spend a key to get it. I'm going to do it though. I've got two more keys, so I can still get into the shop and the treasure room. Hmm. <clears throat> got a hit. Not good. Um. So here's a chest. I won't be able to get to this chest anyway, so oh now I can though. <laughs> because I don't need to worry about wasting a key on it, but actually maybe I should. So I have a bomb to get to it. And another bomb. So yeah, I'll use a key. I still have a key for the treasure room. Tears up. Very good. Even when they're random. Um, this could be a secret room. I'll use the bomb just in case it is. I feel like I need to take every opportunity and chance I can get. See, now, here's a predicament, because I now have enough coins to go in the shop, so maybe I need to skip the treasure room. Um, I think the boss might be down that way, so... Um, <clears throat> Sometimes I'd clear the boss, but as I've got low health, I feel like I should try and get some good stuff to make it safer. So, uh, shop or treasure room, shop or treasure room. It's impossible to decide. I think I have to go with shop. 
and hope I can buy a key or that a key will drop for the treasure room and if it doesn't then maybe we'll unlock Samson. Ah, oh, there isn't a the key. There is a heart though, you see, uh, which is the kind of thing we need. We found the secret room, so I won't bother trying to guess for it. Um, so we'll go for, I feel a bit slow again. Um, we'll go for the boss, then we'll clear the way, and if a key drops on the way, then we can run back and uh, we can run back and get that treasure room. Oh, I keep on getting hit. Damn it! Will everybody stop getting shot? Wait, here's a bomb. What's that? There's that chest behind the bomb, but it's also locked, so that's no good. At any point, if I do get full health, it might be worth running up to the arena as well instead of going for the boss straight away, because there might be something good in the arena also. So then, aha, here's the key. So now we want to run all the way back to the treasure room. Get the flies out ready before we forget. So I'm not going to risk trying to get that coin because sometimes I'm clumsy and I'll just hurt myself and we don't have a lot of health to spare as you can see. So mum's bra isn't really, um, I think I prefer the flies. So, we don't have the full... No, look, we can drag that coin with our random effect. Um, huh. So, I guess we'll just go for the boss. So, I'll just have a sip of tea. So, I think we're doing alright. It's just a random effect, a bit unnerving. It's quite colourful with the random poison. I'm going all a bit Jackson Pollock. So let's, let's make Jackson Pollock painting in Isaac. The yellow, red and green. <laughs> if you don't know who Jackson Pollock is, go and look it up. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean. Um, there we go, look, we've made a Jackson Pollock. Maybe I'll take a screenshot here and just call the episode Jackson Pollock. If only the green was a bit more regular, but of course it's a, I think it's 10% chance. Um, so it was a bit more mixed in. I am Jackson Pollock, I tell you! Right. So, Loki. Bit of a tough boss. Oh, you can blow up his own little bomb, bomb fly things. Oh right, so this looks good. It looks like we've got a good uh, standard type of tier that's doing a decent amount of damage. We haven't got number one, which is um, good. You know, we had it just outside, it was unlikely we'd get it again. So it could... Oh, oh, why did I do that? No. No, no, no. This is not good. This is not good at all. Um, really, really seriously watch out for that pokey over there. Shall we throw a bomb at him? Yes, haha. <laughs> bomb you in the face. How would you like those apples? Right. Um, so I don't think there's anything else we can get here. Um, even that arcade machine up at the top was behind a locked block, as far as I remember. Um, and yeah, that chest is also locked, even though we have some bombs to get it. And we found the main secret room, so it's only the one that's difficult to find. That's left to find, so we can't really get that. So there's a mini boss up to the right, so I'm thinking that must actually be a uh, greed, because it's in a hidden room. So anyway, um, so I'm not actually going to go for him, I'm going to go for... Um, the arcade. Oh, but this is a dead end. Ah, oh, Dagnabbit. So, which way? Do we want to go up or do we want to go down? I think we want to go up to get to the arcade. 
move immediately. Okay. Um. Oh goodness, dear me. Right. Belly lasers. Kill him as quickly as possible. Right. So uh, we could bomb our way to that, but we don't have any key to open it just yet, so it's not really worth it. Get some flies ready. More belly lasers. Okay. Boom of explosive green dudes. Explosive vomit everywhere. Um. Oh, careful now. Uh. Okay, more flies. Down to one red heart. I'm going trying to get to that arcade and then we can use our coins to get some more red hearts. There's also a shop where we could buy some awesome stuff. Um, so we don't want to use that guy yet, but I'm thankful that he isn't a room full of mobs. And, oh, these guys are a nightmare. Shall I bomb them? I think I'm going to have to for my... Oh, I didn't get him. But it did, it did blow the door open so I could escape. If I go down to half a heart. But even if I do, I don't think I will. So absolutely must get to the arcade. Okay, more flies. Okay. Hearts, please. I'm here for the hearts. Please give me the hearts. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, please. Um hearts, no. No. Hearts, please. Yes. Give me the hearts. No. How dare you! Uh, give me the heart. Stop teasing me. Alright, thank you. Phew. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then, so we'll try and maybe actually save some of our coins for once. Um, I'll try and get fully healed up, and then I'll try and save the coins for the shop. And so we don't have to loiter in here for ages. Um, and I'll also have a key. Oh, maybe we'll get the fly hat. Nope. Um, I'll also have a key. I can go over to the treasure room and get whatever goodness is in there. Um, more coins. I want the hearts. You know what I want. Uh, bomb bombs and keys are all good as well because we, we haven't got a whole load of them. Um, come on, give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Keys again. So we're getting dangerously close to 15 coins and I kind of want to hold on to 15 coins from the shop. So, um, oh, here's another chance for fly hat. Yeah, okay, so that's something. So I'll put one or two in here and then we'll say 15 in case there's an epic item to buy. Card. Careful not to. Uh... Here's another temperance machine. You see, so if you spawn them right next to each other, you can you can uh, take advantage of having the moment of grace um, where you don't get hurt from one to activate the other one as well. So I'll just leave them. I'll just leave them both there. So if we get a lot of spare hearts, I can come back and exploit that. But otherwise, I don't really want to be carrying it on me. Um, so I've got four keys, so that's good. So we've got enough to open this on the way. Uh, two are clubs, so get some more bombs. Yep, and we can get this as well. And then that's all the uh, oh, lots of coins. Wow, that's um, that's all the keys we can afford to spare. Actually, now, oh god, we've got spiders, which I hate, and we've got number one which is really bad range it is quite good damage though isn't it it's like it's i think the main thing is that it's a faster fire rate um so it's it's just about okay for spiders um so what we got oh chocolate milk will that override the random shots or will it give us chocolate milk with random shots I think I quite like these random shots, so chocolate milk makes my fingers tired. I've used it several times recently. It does give more damage though, and the damage is kind of average with Maggie. Let's take it, let's see if it combines. 
Wow, look at that. Look at my face. Whoa, she's going mental. Oh, look at where well, it's combining at the moment. With, like, the mirror effect that I've got. Oh. And now it's combining with whatever effect. Oh, yeah. It's Okay, that's good. It's combining with whatever effect I have now. Okay, so I won't go in any rooms. So I don't need to. So Necropolis, I forget if this is the second depths or not. I think it is. I think we are on the second one, aren't we? So this is going to be Mum. And it, this is when it usually throws me, is that I don't know if it's going to be Mum or not. And it is, and I leave stuff outside before going to the boss and all sorts of stuff that then I regret later. Oh, bomb. <laughs> so this shop, incidentally, is going to be the last shop that we come across. Um, I might want to go back to the arcade as well, I think. <laughs> to poison the uh, floating head thing, but of course it's not going to hurt it. Um, slow it down though, that's cool. That's a cool effect, I'm good with that. Um, okay, so that should die. <laughs> One more room. Okay, now be careful. Just... These, this room is not hard, it's only because I don't concentrate. I just have to concentrate, and then you can do it. Okay. I'll grab that, even if I accidentally get hurt, which I didn't, so that's good. Because um, even if I accidentally get hurt, I, I can go back to the arcade now and get everything I need. So I've got the map that will be useful. Um, so we'll go and get our health filled up. Maybe see if we can get the extra heart container. I might have to edit edit a bit out. There's also the little demon dude who takes heart donations outside as well. So that's bearing in mind. Worth bearing in mind if I can get as many hearts as possible. Um, it is just the machine we've got to use now though, isn't it? Because we've got the fly hat. Oh, and it's one of these machines as well. And it's gone and blown itself up. So that's no good at all. So I guess I'll blow both of these up at the same time. There is some extra rooms over on the left of the map that I didn't go in. But I don't want to risk getting into a fight. And there might be nothing. Might get absolutely nothing from it. So, so we still got some coins. Um... We'll just skip this guy. There does sometimes there is sometimes machines in the womb, so the coins might be useful for healing a sub. There is also sometimes little beggars and stuff in the womb, um, so it's not the worst thing to still have coins on us. And of course, we have actually unlocked the power is money item as well, so you never know when we we might be able to pick that up at some point. That's a nice passive item. It's a blue rock there. Oh my. And I hurt myself with a blue rock, I'm such a dirt. Let's use the death cards just because. And we've unlocked the Necromonicon. I guess from using the death card a lot. Or the death effect as well, maybe, because we can get the death effect from that missing page trinket. Necromonicon is a book that allows you to do the death all the time. It's a reference to Evil Dead 2. Or is it Evil Dead 3? He I think he does he get the Oh I can't remember. <laughs> it's evil it's in Evil Dead films anyway. Um is it in all of them in fact? Is it what raises the zombies in the first place? There's a remake of Evil Dead coming out as well, which apparently looks really gross. But that's I haven't seen the trailer. But they're encouraging people to have their reactions to the trailer on YouTube. And most people are just like, oh it's really gross. But then the first Evil Dead film was really gross, so if they're keeping in the spirit of it, maybe they're using modern graphics and stuff to make it even more gross than it was before. Um, so anyway, that's Mum down. Enough talk about the Evil Dead films. You, you're quite possibly too young to watch them, so don't watch them if you're too young, because maybe they will completely freak you out, but worth checking out if you're... 18 or older and you haven't seen them before because they are quite old um, in fact they're before my time as well but my friends just got into them later on in life um, okay the second I mean the first one's more of a straight kind of horror 
movie, although it's very cheesy and silly, it is kind of like gross out horror movie. The second and third one, however, are like more kind of like comedy horror and they're really, really cool. They're really funny. There's things like he loses his hand, so he straps a chainsaw onto his hand. So he has this like chainsaw hand to fight the zombies and stuff with, which is a really cool idea. Um, and then in the third one, he goes back into the past, but he still has a shotgun, so everybody thinks he's like a wizard. Um, so this book's all the way over on the left there. This is the first room, so we won't be up against the hearts just yet. I'll try and concentrate, because we're a bit low on health. Um, oh, let's sort this out. I keep on realising I keep on saying sort this out for all of the mobs now. Sort these mobs out, sort this out, what are you playing at? Um, I don't have a key to open that room. This is just a donation guy. Ah, uh, I've been stuck really. Oh, free bomb. Um, ah, cool. Okay. Good news. Want some hearts. Bombs and keys. Oh, that's a key. I mean, I could go into the ivory infestation. That gives us even more flies, I think, doesn't it? I don't know if it's when we get hit or what. Um, how are we looking? Possible screen possible uh thumbnail time um let's try and get some more hearts oh i was about to say this room looks relatively safe those old dudes oh dear that was not good news okay we can do this as long as we're really careful try punt a bomb over at him wasn't enough wasn't enough to kill him how strong is he? Inconceivable! Right. Okay. Force field. The force field might be useful. <laughs> it's only it's the one boss we've got, isn't it? So if I go in and cast the force field and hope to kill them. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll use it on the room though. Maybe I'll uh, I'll go in and if it's mobs I can use the force field to protect myself while we kill them. Don't know how long it lasts for. I mustn't get complacent and purposely get hit like that first shot really because yeah it's wearing off already now. Stand here. I've got the range to uh, get them from the other side of the room. Come on, come on. Oh, no heart. Come on. Okay, and then I'm going to go and swap for the other book. That I think, I feel like it should be charged, but I think actually before I once swapped to the same kind of book and it had the same charge, yeah, it's like it just remembers to charge for a certain effect as if there's only one of that item. Unfortunately. Okay, I really don't think it's worth trying the boss with only half a heart, so I really think I need to try and get some hearts somehow. I know if the beggar dude we got his item and he disappeared. The the devil dude who takes heart donations, if you kill him, he's in my experience he always turns into spiders. He never drops stuff when you kill him. He always just turns into spiders, so that's no good. Um Ah, oh, bombs. Always with the bombs. I could check for the super secret room. <laughs> I don't think I had the glasses or anything that tells me where it is, do I? No. I do have to find them. I have the treasure map that tells me where the normal secret room is. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's why I feel like I haven't had to search, but... Um, but it doesn't tell me where a super secret one is. So that's those two spots. 
So I don't have that many bombs, but I just really desperately need to find hearts somewhere, somehow. And the super secret room is sometimes just full of hearts, which is perfect. Um, just need to find it if, and hope that's what it gives us. Oh, you know, sometimes it has a machine. Sometimes it has the uh, fortune machine, which is good because it might give us some blue hearts or some cards, tarot cards that give us hearts, it's good. Okay, so that's all those spots. <laughs> I've got two more bombs and there's um, a couple of spots that are uncovered. I mean, sometimes the secret room is next to the spiked doorway room. So if I pretend that it's maybe quite often that, no, it's not, okay. So if I remember the spots I've tried and then Oh, oh, get the lies out. They'll help. No, I'm dead. Oh, that was a shame. I think I unlocked some things though, didn't I? I don't think I've had they grow inside before. Um, I think it was quite a fun run, th run through. I got to do a little Jackson Pollock impression. Um, did I unlock anything? I feel like maybe I unlocked something. It's always a bit disappointing, a bit of a... Yeah, I unlocked the Necromonicon, so that's one good thing that happened. It just always feels like a bit of an anti-climax otherwise. But I did unlock something, so um, I won't beat myself up too much about it. And I will see you next time.